All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna we're gonna get the gist of it. I'm gonna put these spacers in. I'm gonna get the screw started. Go ahead and start start these screws into the spacers. And this is going to be the most tedious part of the assembly. Try to do this fast. Um, a screw gun could benefit you here. Uh, I would just be careful because you are screwing into plastic and you could over tighten it with the screw gun. So I prefer to just do this by hand. It's okay, it only takes a few more minutes. If I was doing these all day long, I would absolutely have a screw gun right now. You don't, sometimes the screws, uh, they don't get a bite right away. You can kind of push on the screwdriver a little bit. All right, I've got these four screws started now. Now this is not symmetrical. There's a top and a bottom. I don't see an up or down, so we're going to consult the instructions. We know this is the bottom because the F connector uh, would always be pointed down. So, okay, it looks like the spacers that are halfway down the beam, as opposed to the ones that are at the bottom of this beam, should be the top. So that's how we're going to do this. Going to line everything up. And I'm going to flip her over. This should go pretty good now. <laughs> right when I say that. I was talking to my son the other day and teaching him how to use a screwdriver. I told him sometimes you you need to push on the screwdriver a little bit. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to push on the screwdriver a little bit. And remember, you're going into plastic, not metal. So you got to have a feel. If you don't have a feel for it, uh, you better learn to have a feel because everything's going to plastic these days anyways. But on a TV antenna, uh, plastic is okay to use. On cars, it's questionable, but they sure use a lot of it these days, plastic. Okay, so what do we have here? We've got, going over each bolt, each screw, making sure they're all tight. Now, We've got our mask clamps. And we 
can uh, flip the antenna back over because this is the front, this is the back. And we're going to consult the instructions one last time. The wider clamp goes against the antenna. Smaller clamp goes here. I always try to make sure that the slotted pieces match. So when you go to install it, there isn't any funny business. It's okay. reason for the slot, 99% of you out there know, uh, I'll show you why on the next one. Okay, so the reason for the slot, should you be not going over the mast and it kind of putting it to the mast, so to speak, is that you don't want to lose your U-bolt or your screws, so what you can do, you can actually loosen these up quite a ways and then you can slide this just like this slide it up kind of out of your way Sometimes, especially in this case, it looks like we need to take the top nut all the way off. But there you go. So you'll put the mast in here, and you'll take your bracket, put it here, and now you can tighten it up. Some of them uh, clamp brackets, the U-bolts, are long enough where you don't have to take the nut off but I think in this case um, we couldn't do it like that all right so that's the assembly pretty fast assembly I'm sure I could do it much faster next time I'm gonna go ahead and check these screws Alright, the last thing, we have this uh, diplexer. Uh, the diplexer is what's going to allow you to join this antenna with, for example, this antenna. And this would mount somewhere up on the mast, somewhere down on the mast I would say maybe down here and so we have a cable um, I prefer to use the one with the weather boots so this is just for demonstration purposes only 
and you would open up your diplexer box and you look for the VHF in. All right, because this is a VHF antenna, we're going to By the way, you can remove these for easier installation. And then we would we would bring the now this was previously set up for this uh, add-on, but what we would do, now you would take your UHF signal, and you would put it here, there's a UHF in. I'll take the diplexer out. I'll screw I'll screw this in. You really don't need the weather boot because it's in a box. And that's how you would join the two. Then you of course you would put your down lead. So um yeah, it takes longer to talk about it than it actually does to do it, but um that's the idea behind the video. So in case anybody's putting this thing together, uh, they can look at this video first, get an idea, and uh, go ahead and do it. So thanks for watching.